note income. And what about prices? I would say that uh, prices affect the amount that would spend on purchases in general. Um, looking at the electricity, for example, with the price hike, I, I still need to buy electricity, obviously, but I'm, I'm definitely looking, I'm definitely buying fewer coupons as, as possible because I'm trying on my, on my electricity consumption at home. And the same with, with energy prices like fuel. It's, I still need to spend a certain minimum amount of petrol on getting to work and back every, every day, but I'm definitely, when I'm going out, you know, on a trip, I'm definitely staying closer to home rather than going out for a full weekend, say, to the Karoo on a long trip or something. My favorite chocolate is definitely Lindt chocolates. But as we all know, it's a luxury brand that one can really afford when they're a student. So at the moment, Lindt is having a special with dark chocolates where it's only 20 rand instead of 30 rand a slab. And um, I've definitely been buying, I've been stocking up on Lindt chocolates since that special's been on. When Accessorize has a sale on their products, I go in there and I buy gifts for people's birthdays who are a few months in advance. Otherwise, I don't shop there because I find their prices a bit high. Price is obviously another important variable that influences their demand. We'll use the symbol PX to indicate the price. And later, we're going to talk a lot more about the impact of price on the quantity demanded.